Now, we'll start with a stretch of the oblique. So you'll lean your rib cage to the right. And as you do so, think about that transversus abdominal in engagement. So belly in and up. And then try to lift the right ribs up high. That's gonna be the external intercostals on the right side there. And some of your obliques on the left will assist that in as well. The action, lean, cinch, lift, okay? And then bring your left foot out to the side. And with Kali Mudra, arms up to the sky. Now, there, if you hike your left pelvis up to your ribs, this is gonna be internal and external obliques of the left side. Now, of course, your left outer hip muscles are also working, but I'm trying to hike the pelvis up towards the ribs as I lean to my right. It's gonna be a little bit more quadratus lumborum and internal obliques. But you're gonna come into this chair pose, arms can be like a cactus. You're gonna lean into your right foot, squeeze the left pelvis and left ribs toward each other, and bring left elbow and hip together okay so you're in this position here then come back chair pose as you exhale lean to your left hip hike your right hip up bring your right elbow and right pelvis or hip uh, outer hip greater trochanter together and feel this connection of your right waistline Come back, take a breath in. You take your legs up. I suggest squeezing a block for this. If you want to really challenge yourself, squeeze it between the shin. Now the idea here is we want to learn how to squeeze the right pelvis and ribs toward each other. So you create this dialing like a clock or like a wheel of the pelvis and ribs toward each other, then back. And then turn your tailbone to the left, squeezing your left pelvis and ribs toward each other, making a side bend shape. Okay, so a nice shallow frog. And what we're gonna do is activate the obliques by hiking the knee to the elbow. Now the idea here is a lot of people will just move the hip joint like this. That's not gonna work out. That's not gonna get your obliques. That'll get your hip flexors, not your obliques. But what I'm doing, watch my pelvis, is gonna wag. So I'm trying to circle, make a circle with my whole unit, boom, knee and elbow toward each other. Boom. So it's doing that same dialing action, squeezing knee and elbow toward each other, but from the connection of the obliques on the side here, again, I'm not using my knees to kind of wipe the floor like this, which would be just hip flexors. I'm dialing the whole pelvis. It should be a lot more difficult than you think.